Other things to incorporate to make the home work from a future point of view is to make sure that you have uh, the right degree of universal access and ageing in place. So the hallways are wider, um, the doors are all wider right throughout the whole home. Um, the stairway, you've got a straight stair and with that straight stair it's wider than normal so that within a day you can put a stair lift on it. It takes, takes 125 millimetres and then someone that had an issue from a mobility point of view can go straight up and down just by that thought. Uh, making sure that where you have corners, that access around those corners are very easy. Sometimes you squint them, just a small squint, which is a little 45 degree on those corners, makes a difference. Uh, making sure that you have no steps or minimise steps. Uh, if you do put a step, sometimes you have to. You have to plan for the future so that can be ramped. Most of the time you can do it without stepping. Uh, correct lighting. In this house you will never turn a light on during daylight hours. Even if it's overcast you would not have to turn a light on to go anywhere in this home. Um, and good lighting even at night is critical also for ageing in place so every part is lit appropriately. Um, so also where you have transition points, how they transition, <clears throat> where you might use different textures, different colours, so all of those are an important part of um, that future-proofing a home. So people can age in place, well not just age in place, but we forget what about our parents, aging parents, or what about our grandparents. Um, it means it's difficult for them to visit or stay and maybe look after the kids um, if they don't have a space that they can use.